do you believe that French women eat cassoulet, smoked salmon, and creme brulee every day? What keeps them so thin? Could there be some foods that French women never combine at the same meal? Combinations that would be the worst enemy to their flat tummies. But what if I told you that the image of the thin French woman may be jeopardized? What could very well be the big threat to the national pride? Let's take a look at all this. Hello, bonjour, I'm Coco, and I'm very glad that you are joining me today. French women, they have a lot of small, healthy and daily habits that make a big difference at the end of the day, of the week, of the year. As you have heard before, French women walk everywhere, and that is true. To work, to the car, to the school, to pick up kids, to the store, to do their shopping. They constantly incorporate exercise in their daily lives. And they never reward themselves for exercising like we in America reward ourselves with a 300 calorie healthy smoothie after jogging or working out. Their lunch break is usually one hour. They spend 15 to 20 minutes of that break eating their lunch and the rest of the time is dedicated to a stroll or a fast walk. They always manage their time with their physical and mental health in mind. They take the stairs instead of waiting for the elevator. As a matter of fact, you may have watched people looking for an apartment in Paris on an HGTV show. How many of those apartments have an elevator? Not that many. You carry your groceries up to your apartment. That is part of your daily routine and there is no way around it. Also, our villages and cities in France are full of stairways. We have them everywhere and definitely no elevators in those places. Many people in big cities do not own a car or do not use their car because the traffic is bad and parking is impossible. So, they rely on public transportation. Well, public transportation is not a door-to-door -door service. You walk to the bus stop or to the train station, then you get off the bus or the train and you walk some more and you do that twice a day. Even when they drive to the supermarket, they do not look for a parking space next to the door they make a conscious effort to park and walk. There is an open air market at least once a week in every town, big and small, in France. French people have much appreciation for seasonal produce, local cheese, local cured meats, etc. And they spend money there. They know they are buying natural, fresh quality whole foods that are the pride of their local farmers and artisans. They want good bread, not processed industrial bread in a plastic bag. Good bread. They eat pain bio, grain filled organic bread, but they also eat white bread, the good old fashioned crunchy white baguette. White bread made with good bread flour water, sea salt, and bigger, and that's it. No endless list of unnecessary ingredients in that bread. French women do not deprive themselves. They believe in moderation, not deprivation. The forbidden foods are the substitutes, the food additives, and the processed food. No artificial sweeteners. French studies show that they cause weight gain in the long run. Butter, not margarine, which ironically was created by a French chemist. Real cheese, real cream, the real stuff. The stuff that they keep reminding you their grandparents ate, yet stayed thin. You get a better satisfaction from whole foods and ultimately you eat less because 
the satisfaction is immediate. Whole foods minimize the cravings, therefore reduce the urge to snack between meals. Interesting, isn't it? Food additives are products, mostly chemicals, added to our food to preserve it, make it look good, and make it taste good. French women are more and more careful about what they buy for themselves and for the family. TV programs and magazines constantly warn them about the terrible side effects of food additives. It's a fact. French women study the labels of processed food and they often put the product back on the shelf to go directly to the fresh produce section or the fresh meat department. And by the way, good natural food is not more expensive than processed food in France. You can fix your own fresh tomato pizza for less money than buying a frozen one. If they do not put that product back on the shelf, it is only because they are looking for something quick to save the day. They feel guilty buying it, and certainly they do not want to be seen with it in their shopping cart. So yes, French women eat bread, and yes, they eat white bread in small quantities. They look at the right scale. In other words, they do not put on their plate more than they need. They only indulge occasionally, nothing in excess, everything in moderation. Creamy, buttery sauces, rich desserts, yes, but not every day and in small quantities. They do not behave like they will never eat again. They know the cheese tray will be on the table again and again and they will eventually have a small piece of the camembert that they have been coveting. They know they can count on it. All French women know how many calories they are allowed each day, depending on their age and their weight. They have all seen the chart and they stick to that number every day. By habit, they know how many calories are in a yogurt, a piece of chocolate, or a cookie. If you go to a health website, you read that an average woman needs to eat about 2,000 calories per day to maintain her weight and 1,500 calories to lose one pound of weight per week. Simple. If you stick to your requirements, you will maintain your weight. If you go below, you will start losing weight. And if you go above, you will start gaining weight. Again, that's very simple. So, if you eat a whole baguette, that will be 700 calories. But French women don't do that. They eat a slice of it. They know they will have another delicious slice tomorrow and another one the day after. Also, I remember when I was growing up in France, Sunday lunch was a big meal with a main dish, cheese tray, dessert. However, dinner was light, super light to compensate. Taking more calories than needed by the end of the day was out of the question. We talked about the good food. We talked about the portions. So, Let's talk about the action of eating. Eating remains a pleasurable experience in France, not a chore just to satisfy our hunger. We savor each bite. We want to be content and satisfied. So we chew each bite. We do not inhale the food just to get the job done and move on to something else. And we take small bites. As we say in France, chewing means less bloating. Also, when you eat quickly on the go, you're less likely to stop when you're full. You have the tendency to keep eating until the last bite. Eating more slowly allows you to better listen to your real needs and allows you to stop eating before you're full. 
The bottom line is, do not eat more than you're hungry, stop before you're full, and by the way, even if they eat at McDo, as they call it in France, that's McDonald's, the French still take the time to chew the meal. French women do not skip breakfast. Many start with a plain yogurt, the calcium, the carbs, the protein, the fat, all that in just a few bites. And actually, when you go to the supermarket in France, you see a very large selection of plain yogurt in small individual glass containers, in plastic containers, big containers. And unless you know which one you want, you can spend quite a few minutes comparing the plain yogurts. Cow milk, sheep milk, goat milk, whipped, not whipped. They will also have a piece of bread with butter and jam or maybe some granola with our yogurt, maybe a piece of pound cake, pear cake, marble cake. French women eat a substantial lunch, never a salad that would leave them hungry within a couple of hours. They want to have enough energy until dinner time because snacking between meals is not permitted. So the salad will not do it for them. They eat a full balanced meal. Nothing fried. They will have meat and veggies or fish and veggies, a small piece of chocolate with an espresso. The small piece of chocolate is probably going to be a nice, good quality 72% dark chocolate, nothing with refined sugar. And that piece is going to be small, maybe an eighth of a whole bar. Moderation, remember? Dinner is usually light at home, a vegetable soup, a green salad, a small piece of cheese. That's really all you need for a good night's sleep. No snacking between meals. The French culture is not a culture of snacking. Eating a 300 calorie candy bar between lunch and dinner, which would be more than 15% of their recommended daily calorie allowance, would not make any sense to French women. That would be a waste of calories. French women drink lots of tisane, infusion, what we call herb tea, and lots of water, lots and lots of bottled water. Water throughout the day, water at all meals, no juice, no soda, no milk, just water and little during the meals. French women drink more red wine than white wine. Red wine is still believed to be healthier because of its antioxidants. French women seldom drink beer. It is just not part of their culture. If they do, they drink it with moderation. The word diet sounds dreadful and depressing. The French diet is not a diet. There is no such thing. It is a way of life. Their diet is their daily healthy routine. They do not believe in crash diets, new fad diets, detox, or anything that would make them suffer when there is a better way to achieve the same results. French women in general walk a lot. They jog, they take the stairs, they ride their bicycle, they play golf and tennis, and they exercise at home in front of a YouTube exercise video. Getting up at 5 o'clock to be at the gym at 6 o'clock is not at all part of the French mindset. Gyms are not open that early anyway, and they don't need to be. Also, French women don't go to the gym to get big muscular arms. They want to be feminine. As a result, there is no pressure, no pain, no struggle, no frustration and no defeat and no disappointment. They do not see the logic in going to the gym to work out, build up a big appetite and big muscles and have that 300 calorie healthy smoothie or healthy bar as a reward. The fitness ethic follows them throughout the day, not just at the gym. 
Interestingly, there has been an explosion of gyms recently with water bike, aqua gym, body pumps, yoga, stretching, Zumba, cellulite control and so on. But just to keep you informed, women like to go to women's gyms. They see the gym as a social place to meet other women, not to meet men. They do not see the gym as a pickup place or a look at me place and they refuse to be pressured whatsoever by the presence of men. So men have their own gyms where they build up their big muscles and they leave the girls alone. By the way, we do have a few mixed gyms. Nothing to be proud of. Smoking may help some French women dull their appetite, but that is not good at all. I really believe that much work of awareness needs to be done in France to stop, at least to reduce, this horrible habit. Earlier, I talked about some combinations of food that French women avoid as much as possible. The scientific proof that those combinations can be harmful is actually supported by dietitians and medical studies, and some will surprise you. So, let's start with meat and starch. Any kind of starch, potatoes, pasta, rice. Mixing protein and starch is not a good idea because the starch is not digested easily when it is processed with carbs. Both are going to struggle during the digestive process and because of that, they will stay in the stomach way too long, which is going to bring your level of energy down. Starch-filled foods should be eaten separately. For example, have a hearty potato salad for lunch and eat your meat or fish with vegetables for dinner. Have pasta and cook veggies as a main dish. Have a risotto with a nice pesto sauce separately. If you serve meat or fish, serve vegetables as the accompaniment, not potatoes, pasta or rice. Start your meal with fruit. If you save the fruit for last, it will sit on top of your meal in your stomach for too long and the sugar from the fruit will have plenty of time to ferment. You don't want that to happen. Dietitians, doctors, researchers in France all agree on that. Plus, it is just not good for your flat tummy. The combination of black tea with milk, even a drop of milk, is counterproductive. The milk will void the antioxidant properties of the tea. Never eat a piece of quiche or pizza and a piece of pie or cake at the same meal. That is gluten on top of gluten. Gluten is good, but in moderation. A main dish served with a creamy sauce and a custard for dessert. That is dairy on top of dairy. Dairy is good, but in moderation. The worst may be a combination that we see all the time here in America. Pasta and bread. That is starch on top of starch. Unthinkable to most French women. At the beginning of this video, I told you about a real threat that is quite devastating and that is spreading like wildfire in France. The French call it the invasion of the American culture. Gigantic serving sizes and the all-you-can-eat concept have conquered France. Not all French women are thin anymore. Rather, more and more French women and men are gaining weight and are becoming overweight. They are catching up on us in America. You see, American tourists have been demanding bacon and eggs for breakfast and burgers for lunch. And the French have not stood up. Part of it is that they don't want to miss the business. And French people of all generations 
fall for the greasy temptations and the huge portions. Oh, what a shame. The French are losing the balance, the balance that was so effortless, the balance that made the world admire French women. Balance in the diet, eat everything but eat it in small quantities. Balance in the calories, eat just what you need to maintain your weight. Less to lose weight, more to gain weight. Balance in the lifestyle, stop eating before you're full, keep moving throughout the day. I'm quite sad to see it when I go back overseas, but it is a reality. No one can deny it. We can only hope that it's just a trend, and as many trends that it will pass before it causes too much damage. And one more tip to a healthy lifestyle, the trick to eating more veggies. That's my own little trick, and it is in my blog. Please check it out. I hope you liked this video. Please leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Have you been to France recently? Were you in the city, in the country? Would you like to share some remarks? And finally, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In advance, thank you, merci, and voila.